Okay, so I did a video a few days ago with the ladybugs unboxing from Nature's Good Guys in California where they mailed me 1,500 ladybugs and I had three praying mantis pods. So the directions with the praying mantis pods was that it would take two to six weeks for them to hatch. Um, and you need like consistent warm weather for several days in a row before they would hatch. Well, apparently here in Houston, Texas, it has been consistent enough and it hasn't even been a week yet. <laughs> So last night, I, um, you remember they came in like a brown paper bag. If you don't remember, this was like two videos ago. Um, they came in a brown paper bag and there were just three pods in there. Honestly, I put it in a cabinet and I was like, cool, I've got some time to figure out how I'm going to make them little homes and separate them. So last night before I went to bed, I looked in there just out of curiosity. I was digging in the cabinet for something and I was like, oh yeah, these praying mantis pods. So I looked and I saw two little praying mantis and I was like, oh, surely they just threw those in there for teasers and they're not real. Like they weren't moving, which I know praying mantis don't move, but they really weren't moving. So I was just like, whatever, no big deal. Woke up this morning and I was like, oh, how am I gonna do these? Cause I'm not about to be caught unprepared with each little um, praying mantis egg sac can have 50 to 200 babies in it. And I was like, I'm not about to be caught unprepared with, you know, 200 baby praying mantis in a brown paper bag crawling out when I still have two other egg sacs I have to dig out of there. Which, by the way, fun fact, the egg sacs are technically called something I don't know how to pronounce, but I know how to spell it. That's what happens when you learn things on the internet. But uh, <laughs> it is an Uthika, maybe? I don't know. It's O-O-T-H-E-C-A. But I do a lot of internet reading, so you can't make fun of someone who teaches themselves how to pronounce the word. So what I ended up doing for the um, containers was I just took mason jars. Um, usually the egg sacs are put onto a twig or so. So you don't want it laying on the bottom of the mason jar. And then the babies are going to be really small. So you want something that they can't escape from. So what I did was I just cut the footed part off of some old pantyhose, which you can tell like there's the toe seam. So I just snip that right off put it over a mason jar and then screwed the lid down. And then I put some twigs in there and just kind of sandwiched it between a couple of the twigs. This way they have something to hang from whenever they emerge from the egg sac. So, I just came home from work about 20 minutes ago and I was like, still thinking about those two baby praying mantis, which I did end up whenever I was moving them into their mason jar homes or whatever their temporary nurseries, I did end up um, discovering that those praying mantis were real and alive. So I put them out in my garden because that's what I got them for. So I was really anxious to check on them again and see like what egg sac was ready to hatch because I just knew something was about to happen, right? Come home from work and this is what I find. A bunch of little bitty praying mantis. Which I don't know if you can see all of these guys in here. A lot of them are actually up on the top right now. When I came home from work like 20 minutes ago, they were all hanging out down here. And I'm really sad I didn't get to like watch them hatch because I've heard that's cool. If you can see, there's like some white stringy stuff hanging from that egg. Um, from what I understand, they just kind of all hang there for about an hour and then disperse. And I think it would be cool to just see this like cluster of baby praying mantis, right? So I bought them specifically for the garden. You can't have them for pets, but I'm not trying to have any more pets at the moment. So I'm just going to move over here closer to the garden and then release them. Okay. So, I think I'm going to put some of them in my little strawberry garden. I just need to gently do this. Can you hold it for a second? Because they're on the top. Oh my god. Let's see how many are on the top. Oh. 
Look at them, look at them. They're so cute. Man, they're really going. Oh my God, it's like all over me. Oh wow, they hop. Let's make sure they got off of me. Ah! Nope. Okay, buddy. They're like so lightweight. Look at this. Fun. So I'm probably just going to leave the lid off of the jar in the strawberry bed and the tomato bed. And then I've got two other eggs to hatch still. So those will go throughout the garden and the yard. Um, but totally cool. Fun.